Alright, hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to back up your Mac computer to a uh, time machine using a USB hard drive connected to Airport Extreme. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, make sure your USB hard drive is plugged in via USB to the back of your Airport Extreme and uh, make sure both are powered on and after you have that completed you're going to open Airport Utility and once your router loads uh, click on it and you're going to look for your LAN IP address, not your IP address. So you're going to be looking for this set of numbers right here. So once you find that, click out of uh, Airport Utility. So Finder appears in the menu bar. Click Go. Connect to Server. And type in this number right here found in Airport Utility, the LAN IP address. So mine is 10.0.0 or 10.0.1.1. So click, I'll click connect, and right now it's viewing my uh, hard drive connected to my Airport Extreme, and I already have backups on here because I uh, used it previously. So then you can go to Time Machine, you can click it here, or you can go through System Preferences, and it is right here. And uh, you click Select Disk right here. And mine is already chosen in the backup disks, but you can just click available disks. It'll be under available disks, and you click G Drive, and click use disk. And uh, you type in your Wi-Fi network password to allow access to it, and click connect. And now Time Machine is on, and it says next backup is in about two minutes. So this gives you hourly backups, daily backups, weekly backups. And um, it's also really useful if you have a large file on another computer on the same network. You can just drag it onto the hard drive and then drag it onto your other computer. And it's a pretty fast uh, transfer of data. So, yeah, thanks.